All right, Mark. We've got six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. We are ranking all of the Lego Star Wars, the video game levels. So the original Lego Star Wars, uh, not the complete saga. This is the one that we speed run all the time. So we're tier listing the levels, Mark. And we're going to go in chronological order. I like it. So first up, I'm, I'm going to be <laughs> honest. Like, I don't even, I could just put it in S and I don't have to talk about it. <laughs> I mean. But negotiations is up first. Yeah, I mean, this is S, obviously, for me. I mean, I don't really need to say about much of it either. It's just like, we said it in the speed run. It's like the most iconic level within LEGO Star Wars. One of the most iconic levels for me, honestly. You know, loading it up. First level you get into is negotiations on this game. So, yeah. I mean, a big part of my childhood. So, it's an easy S. And we have the world record. So, <laughs> we have to throw an S. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> uh, up next... I don't even know what it's called, but it's the Jar Jar level. <laughs> I forget what it's called, too. I'm not going to lie. Probably, uh, I don't know, something with Oda Gunga. Let me, let me look it up. <laughs> oh, it's, it is Invasion of Naboo. Oh, really? Yeah, it's huh. that's Invasion of Naboo, then Escape from Naboo. The oh. one that the one that we always think, it's Retake Thieb Palace. That's what Oh, it, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Got Invasion it. of Naboo. Got it. So the Jar Jar level, I like. I think it's pretty good. It's a solid level. Um, the Jar Jar, the double jump is mm -hmm. pretty crazy because you can, I mean, you can go flying with that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the part where you like have to like it's like a straight shot and you got the droids running out from the. I think that's the part that woods. brings it down for me. Really, I actually don't yeah. mind that part. I might say B. <sighs> It's a B or C, probably. Yeah, I might say... I don't know if... D is kind of like... Kind of low, but I might throw in C. I don't know. Okay, I, I'll, I'll trust you on that. We'll, we'll go C. Maybe, maybe we'll change things. Who knows? Yeah. So now we've got Escape from Naboo. Which is... So one of the longer ones. Yeah. For sure. This one is a bit of a long one. Yeah. It does take a minute to complete, which brings it down for me because it takes me out of it a bit it, it's the first introduction of blaster characters mm -hmm. which instantly makes the experience better i would it, say it definitely does blaster heroes or blaster characters are just much better to use within these lego games i kind of mm. want to say d or c like i don't know i kind of like the jar jar one more that's why I would say. I would say I enjoy the Jar Jar one more as well. Yeah, this one might be, man, this one might be D tier. Okay, we'll we'll, I, do, we'll put it in D. High D, low C. I'm not sure. <laughs> and now we've got the pod race. This is oh, man. this is the most polarizing one for sure. Yeah, this one is because this is the original pod race. the The complete saga one is much easier. They even it have is. a secret level in the complete saga that is the original pod race. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, <laughs> I, Mark, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I, cause I don't know what your feelings are. <laughs> I don't know what your feelings are on it. No, give me yours first. Okay. So I have two feelings, right? One, obviously another, this is like a top three iconic level. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the pod race. Everybody has struggled through the pod race, which makes it. I want to put it straight in F for that because it's so annoying. But on the other hand, it is iconic. It's it's definitely a very challenging level. A lot of rage moments for sure. Especially especially with two players. Two players makes it a whole nother difficult mm -hmm. like level. Like if you never played it like two player like. You haven't experienced the whole pod race. Ex you haven't had the whole pod race experience yet. And we played a two player blindfolded. And that was unbelievably miserable. <laughs> <laughs> so like, that's where I'm split. Cause it is iconic, but dude, some of those moments just make me want to just rage throw out an F and just, <laughs> cause it's, it's very frustrating. I'm going to say for, for me, you you are gonna have to make the call. 
I'm saying S tier. Hmm. I think this level is amazing. It's a good level. I, I It is a good level. Very rage inducing level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. Because if you don't say S, then it can't be an S. Because like we said, S has to be unanimous in these tier lists. Hmm. I'm, trying to think of, I'm looking at right now like what's left and what I would consider S. And I'm not going to lie. There's not a whole lot. There really isn't. Like there's good levels, but like S tier is a crazy... Like you got to be a, an amazing level. <laughs> And this pod race did create a lot of memories for sure. You know what? Mm. For those reasons alone, even though it, looking at it gets me annoyed sometimes and makes me want to just throw out an F because it, it's frustrating. For the iconicness, for the all the different memories I have on it, I feel like it's got to be S. I really do. Let's go. Let's go. Pod race and S. We move on now to retake the palace. Which is another long one, just like uh, Escape from Naboo. I, I might like. I think I might like this one a little bit more. Yes, I think so too. Just, I, I love the like you're you're using everyone. Yeah. Everyone that's... has a use. You're you're going through switching through all of them. That is a good point. Uh, you've got the parts where like you have to get across something or get to something, and everyone has a different way of getting mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So there's like you know you can have like different ways of setting it up leading you know set up something for r2 so he could get a, like up to the those buttons at the top you know mm -hmm. set give a platform for him uh build the thing for ant little Anakin so he can go through the like the vent whatever system and get up there um the same with the blaster here is get the grapple or, uh destroy one i think it was one of the plants right and then it, yeah and you can like grapple up so <clears throat> there's definitely levels to it which i enjoy like to that extent because it keeps you engaged mm -hmm. it does it is a bit longer, so that definitely knocks off some points for me. I don't prefer like the super long ones. I don't yeah. think it's is it as long as uh what's that one? Escape from Naboo, right? I I think it's longer, maybe. They're probably around the same. I'd I'd probably I say C. If that's that's it, yeah, because like C, yeah, like it's it's better than Escape from Naboo. I don't think it's better than the Jar Jar level. Okay. If I'm looking at but it, but they're they're in the same tier. Yeah. But exactly okay I, yeah i feel you on that yeah okay. I, I can't put it above the Jar level but i can put it in the same mm. tier so that goes in c now we move on to the last phantom menace one uh darth maul I, I like this one i do yes i i think there's one spot that takes it down a little bit for me and it is when you have like the droid sergeants calling in all the droids and you have to run and that's, kill them first yeah that's annoying i'm not a huge fan of that part but Everything else is pretty good. The platforming is good. It definitely gives a bit of challenge. Um, the actual boss fight itself is pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, one of the better ones for sure. I think it's better than the Dooku boss fight. I like it better than the Dooku boss fight. This one might be an A for me. Yeah, I think I'm fine with A as well. This I was going to say A or B, but the fact that it's better than the Dooku one, mm -hmm. I like it in A then. Yeah. So that'll go in A, and now we get to move on to Attack of the Clones, which first up is Kamino. Honestly, not a bad level. This might be Honestly, this might be A as well. This might be I. You know what? I could see it in A because even playing it two player, like when we do the speeder and I'm R four, I don't feel completely taken out of the level. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm still engaged with it. Like I'm opening. I have to open doors. Even like the little droids that drop down, I can mm -hmm. hit them and stun them to make yeah. their job easier to then hit them as Obi Wan. Like, even though I'm playing a droid, which isn't ideal, I'm still I'm still doing stuff. I'm still being engaged with the level. Yeah, it's not too long. The Django boss fight's pretty solid. I think it's pretty. It's on. It's it's not. It's too probably bad. mid tier. Like yeah, it's it, not. It's, like, it's not the worst one. It's, but. it's like it's solid. It's not like completely horrible, but. Could be, could have been obviously better, but yeah. I, I don't hate putting it in. Honestly, I really don't put hate putting it in today. Yeah, let, let, let's go with that. I'm cool with that. So then, next up, it instantly goes to Droid Factory, which I'm not a huge fan of. Neither am I. I'm not the biggest fan. I might. It's a bit confusing. I might want D on that. 
Ooh, that's love. I don't think Droid Factory is all that great. It's really not. Honestly, but thinking about it now, like, it's not... Attack of the Clones, as much as I love the movie, <laughs> Loki has some stinkers on this. Yeah, it's not great. Hmm... I might be good with D. I'm not gonna lie. Like, do you want to go D? I might not be. I might be okay with D. Okay. It, like, it's really like, I don't know. It's not great. It's not completely horrible, but it's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really enjoy or look forward to playing this level. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll go D. The next up is the Genosis Arena. <clears throat> this one gets yeah definitely better. You think? But you know what? Dude, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's I don't think it's A tier. I'm just gonna say it right now, it's definitely not A tier. No, no. <laughs> and here's why: those droids that walk out when you have to start like destroying those different like the B2s and the the commando droid or whatever the, yeah. the the ones the red paint. Dude, sometimes it takes you like <clears throat> five to ten minutes to find these droids. Mark, and even longer. I want I. My original thought was to put this in D as well, purely because of that. I think that is like the worst <laughs> thing ever. So I, 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 was, am, I, was, I was around the C range. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go with C. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it being better than the Droid Factory for sure. Yeah, I think it's um, better. I think the the Django boss battle on on the <laughs> arena is. It's just funny because of how easy it is, like how easy you can cheese it. Like there's just Padman just yeah jump shoot and he's he's done. Like it's insanely easy. Yeah, uh, but no, the the droids just bring it down way too much. So they to do. me, it had to be on the bottom half of the tier list for sure. Anywhere from C to F. Yeah, but, I guess I was around the C. I, I would honestly accept D as well. It just it's just like I said, those droids, dude. Yeah. It, you either find them in five seconds or 20 minutes. It's like insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with C. Okay. And now we go to Gunship Cavalry. I uh, I feel like me and you have differing opinions on this one. This one infuriates me. Yes. It might even infuriate me a little bit more in the pottery. <laughs> I, I I do think this the second half is not great. No, it's not. It definitely brings it down a lot for me. But the first half... I love how unique it is. The first half is a lot better. I, I love will, that. I will, I will agree with that. It's a lot better in the first half. It's I did, that second half is just like so annoying though. <laughs> it's like it did. It's so unbelievably annoying, and I can't stand playing it. I would say B, but I know you're leaning toward the bottom half of the tier list. I definitely am. Only thing is though, <clears throat> would I rather play that or G or the Geonosis. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather play Gunship Cavalry than the Arena. <clears throat> they're they're both infuriating for different reasons. Yes. <laughs> and I think I would rather have it be the skill thing. Not even the skill thing. Because because the thing is, that the last part of the Gunship's annoying. But you can definitely... It's like you can beat it. It's just kind of annoying with the lasers. Yeah. Um, That Geonosis one is just like... The game just holds you back. It literally holds you back. Dude, that might... I don't even know if I like C now for that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really don't know if I like C for that. <laughs> Just thinking about it now, like, along with the gunship, I I would rather play the gunship level, straight up. Right? So so then, do we go, Genosis Arena D, gunship C? That might be the move. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Genosis was so underwhelming. Yes, it, it really was. And no no no, I'm just gonna say this right now. I feel like no Lego game gets it right anyway. Maybe yeah, the Clone Wars one got it the best. Yeah. But every other one just like, dude, it's so underwhelming and just so like, really not that enjoyable. No. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> dude, it might be D tier. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, do we'll it. swap that down to D and we'll put Gunship Cavalry in C. I'm down with that. And now we've got the Count Dooku boss battle. Yeah, this this, this episode is really underwhelming. That's, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, Ugh. the... Other than Revenge of the Sith, like, t like Attack of the Clones definitely has the better action sequences than the Phantom Menace, definitely. Which you would think would provide for better levels, but it's funny. The least action-packed part of Attack of the Clones 
that is, that is a level, which is Camino, is <laughs> by far the best level. E easily, it is easily the best. Uh, Count Dooku, I'd probably say C. It, yeah, it's just kind of like a mid tier level. Like the boss fight isn't bad, but Darth Maul's I think is a lot better. Mm -hmm. I honestly just think a lot of the boss fights are a lot better. Honestly, yeah, it's just more enjoyable. It, this level is really short. Not really much to it. It's you know, yeah, a bit underwhelming for sure. So now we move on to Revenge of the Sith. First up is Battle Over Coruscant, and I'm I'm torn on this because I'm also I'm kind of in the B to C range. We don't have anything in B yet, but I have another one within this episode that I kind of like for the B tier. Mm -hmm. I, I like this in B. I'm not gonna lie. I like this in B as well. It's a, it's a it's a good level. It's a good opener to the It was a good opener in the movie and it was a good opener I feel like in the actual yeah. like episode in the Lego game itself. The the only thing that I don't quite like about it is the fact that you can't like go any faster. Like it is it is one consistent speed. That's true. Whereas I I feel like it would have been cool to be able to control and like be able to go faster or slower at certain parts, but I understand why it's not like that. Yeah. But, For a Lego game, though, it's honestly kind of cinematic, too. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, yeah. I like it in B. I, I okay. think that's my that's gonna be my vote. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with B. And then next up, uh, Chancellor in Peril. I, I'm i not going to lie, Mark. Not huge. This might be the first F tier. Oh, that's crazy. At, oh, it's no. F or D, for sure. It, yeah, no. It's definitely way bottom, bottom half of this. I not huge on it at all like not at all <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. I, I don't i don't i don't think it's the longest in episode three but it's like one of the longest i'm not exactly sure um yeah. lengthwise uh, kashik might be a little longer mm -hmm. but i'm not sure but anyway this one was just not that not that enjoyable yeah for me personally never really look forward to playing it on the speed run <laughs> always kind of dread it a little bit <laughs> yeah I'll let you make the judgment call because I feel like F ha also Ooh. has to be unanimous. Because not to spoil anything, I think this would be the only F. This is another one that I may consider, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's between this and another one for me. Um, just trying to decide. <laughs> I, and this one is not, not very good. <laughs> throw it in F. Okay. Whatever, we'll throw it in okay, F. Okay, it goes in F. Uh, next up, it, we go straight to General Grievous. This is another one. Is this like, your other F? I mean, not. I wasn't thinking about it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I it, I wasn't thinking F. I mean, this but, one's by far annoying. If I'm just yeah, being with Commander Cody trying to shoot the dude the bombs. It is, when we're speed running this, I can't stand this level. It is a very easy level though. Oh, it is. It's quick. It's easy, but dude, the Commander Cody parts are they annoy me beyond belief dude like i can't even <laughs> i can't even i want to throw it in f but i'm not going to because that's it's I, definitely better than I'm, I'm okay with d if you want d or c but if you're leaning toward f then you probably <laughs> would prefer d yeah because i don't look i really don't look forward to playing this like when we're speed running it it's just so annoying okay well we'll go d we won't even question it <laughs> it's so annoying so then after that is Kashyyyk. This is the other one that I think is B tier. I, I like... Okay, I, I can agree. I honestly. like using Yoda in this level, and Chewbacca is really good, and I, I just... It, it's, a, it's a very unique level compared to a lot of the other ones. Some of the different, like... Like, parts of it, too. Like, to see, like when you're on the beach, mm -hmm. like, that's really cool. The droids running up from the water and starting to you know shoot you and all this other stuff like it's a little bit cinematic i'm not gonna lie it's pretty cool um then you have the spot where you can jump with chewbacca to shoot the yeah you the shoot the down. one and then you jump and shoot the <laughs> other one like that's a you hit the sweetest trick shot in the game like <laughs> i like this level I, I like it in b it's a very good level i think okay we'll go very there good. then uh we're we're getting toward the end here we've got the jedi temple i'd probably say c I think it's middle of the road. I think there's some parts that are annoying about it, but... There's definitely, like, the parkour at the end is a bit yeah. annoying. Some of the parts are cool. 
some of them are not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think just based off of that, I think C tier is not a bad spot to go. Okay. For the Jedi Temple. Yeah, I'm down with it. Then we get to the final Revenge of the Sith level, Darth Vader. I mean, this is S for me. This is S for me as well. And that's a unanimous. This might personally right might be my favorite level. Like I, negotiations are most iconic yeah. for me, but for me personally, I think Darth Vader is the my favorite level, mainly because it's my favorite part in the movie and like favorite moment yeah. in Star Wars as well. That's probably why I like it so much, but that's why it's S for me. I mean, it's just it's a great level. I'd probably I'm still partial to negotiations, but I uh, completely understand why. I mean, the, the, yeah, the parkour is not too difficult, but it's challenging enough. It's stressful enough, especially in a speed run. Yeah, <laughs> we know this very well. Um, super. I honestly like. I keep saying it, but this is also cinematic <laughs> <laughs> for a Lego game. It's the lava flying around, and it's. It's an enjoyable level. I do enjoy playing this. And hey, we have the world record on that too. So I mean, it's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> Why not gas ourselves a little bit? It's gotta be yes. Uh, and the final level, the hidden level, the A New Hope beginning. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the level is called, but I mean, it's it's yeah, it's like the first yeah. <laughs> opening the new hope. A new hope. This is the other one that you know could be F tier to be honest, but. But it has one really, really good redeeming quality. Now that I think of it, I'm not, I think they're on this level. The Beach Troopers? I think they are. I, I'm not, like I said, I'm I not think they're on this level. I'm not 100% either. Because at the end, you're going to the escape pod. And that's where you find the Beach And that's troopers. where you find the Beach Trooper in one of them. Yeah, yeah. you find them one one shell. I, I hope we're right on that. I don't really play this level because I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. It could be F, but like you said, the Beach Troopers give it a D. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah, I'm down with D. And that's the tier list. Three of them in S. I, I think a lot of people are going to disagree with the pod race mm -hmm. being an S. And some people might disagree with the Geonosis Arena. But for the most part, I think this is pretty agreeable uh, across all fronts i think it's a solid list and at the end of the day also like with this stuff it comes down to your personal preference you yeah. know what i mean like what levels do you enjoy playing that's kind mm -hmm. of what it comes down to at the end of the day with these types of lists for like you know just any kind of level in a video game uh but honestly i, I like it i really do yeah uh let us know in the comments where you would rank some of these levels and also don't eat us alive because <laughs> Like Mark said, it is personal preference, but also we are basing this a lot off of the speed run capabilities because that's just what we do a lot with this game. And we've also played them a lot because of the speed runs. So true. we might have a little bit more valid of an opinion <laughs> because of how much we've played them. So that'll be it. But hey, I'm not mad at this too. I've been on that no sleep and that go hard ain't nobody stopping my shine Had a lot of late nights with my headphones and a lot of bullshit on my mind Had my head down and my grind on a lot of people telling me that I'ma be the one But I never really looked up till just now finally hitting me how far we've come Rap game underdogs, rap game